Hey everybody, Brian Von VA here, back at it again with another set of D&D stories, and today we have a concept that even I might be able to get behind a little bit. Your favorite useless magic item, like a, uh, a gold coin that refuses to go into your pocket and your pocket only. W why? It may be magical, but it's, you know, useless. So, to that end, we're going to explore that today with DMs of Reddit, what are your favorite useless magic items? Also, if you have a story you'd like to tell us, you can do so in the comments below or on our subreddit r slash Mr. Ripper. The Wizardless Wand This wand becomes a completely normal wooden stick within 15 feet of a wizard. Otherwise, this wand gives a plus one to spell attack rolls and damage, and plus two to damage from spells wizards can't learn. Bonus points if you give it to a wizard, of course. Wand of Indecision As a bonus action, you can spend one charge to make one enemy you see doubt its every move. The target must succeed a charisma saving throw or give up its movement or its action until it saves against the effect. Curse Every time the user tries to activate this wand, they must also make a charisma save to consider if they find it a good idea to use this wand. <laughs> ah, losing the bonus action if they fail the saving throw. The wand itself has three charges and regains 1d6 minus 1d4, so you roll a d6 and then you subtract 1d4 from the result, and charges per day. My players love the Wand of Indecision because it leads to a lot of fun role-playing in which the players themselves are indecisive about whether or not to use the wand. The Artificial's Bag This magic duffel bag was found in a dumpster behind an artificer's workshop. It appears to be an early prototype made in the effort to mass-produce magical items. However, in an unfortunate typo in the runes, has led to the bag producing items of dubious utility. <laughs> Once per day, the owner of the bag can say the command word, caveat emptor, and pull a random magical item from the bag. Some items include, but are not limited to, the boots of teleportation. Once per long rest, you can activate these boots. These boots, and only these boots, Teleport to the location you specify, as if using the word of recall spell. Boots of banana resist- <laughs> I don't want potassium today, no bananas for me. <laughs> you now have advantage on any dexterity acrobatics rolls when slipping on a banana. That's actually kind of useful, I think. Boots of levitation. These boots levitate when not worn. Boots of noisy speed. These well-made and stylish boots give the wearer an extra plus 10 feet to his or her movement rate. The problem, however, is that the boots are very squeaky. Very, very squeaky. In fact, they are so squeaky that the wearer gets a whopping minus 10 on rolls to attempt to move silently. The Cape of Good Hope The wearer will never feel hopeless or despondent nor believe in victory in the long run to be impossible. Cloak of dramatic billowing whoosh, makes anyone look heroic. <laughs> Optional plus one charm, but a downright liability when you're trying to sneak up on people. The girdle of cobalt strength makes your strength score six. Yes, this would have been a decent bonus to carry capacity on a few characters over the years. The glove of settle the fuck down. <laughs> a glove that, when used to slap someone, ooh, a pimp hand, makes them realize what a bitch they're being and that they need to chill the fuck out. DC 13 Calm Emotions. Next up, we have the Ring of Signaling. Two rings, the wearer of either ring can change the color of the crystal of the ring with a thought. The other ring turns to the same color. That's actually quite useful and quite interesting. The Ring of Secret Invisibility. The ring causes you to turn invisible, but only when nobody's looking. <laughs> the Ring of Invulnerability. This ring can never be destroyed. Ring of Invisibility. When worn, this ring becomes invisible. How about a cursed vase that has a small, illusory, valuable item, rare coin, necklace, or gems in it? 
if someone reaches in to grab the item, their hand becomes stuck in the vase. Can be removed with remove curse or it is easily broken. If broken, the vase repairs itself in a few hours when not observed. Upgraded version. If broken while someone's hand is trapped inside, it reappears the next morning or after a rest still stuck to its current victim. Oh, that's terrifying. The mean version. The speed it repairs itself increases the longer it's been stuck to one person. From a few days to one day, to a couple hours, to whenever someone isn't looking at the limb the vase is attached to. That's disturbing and cruel. The sentient version. The vase knows everyone who knows it's cursed and will tip over or wobble a little so as to trap people who are trying to break or escape it. Nothing like the party finally getting the thing off the rogue's arm, only for it to now be stuck to the barbarian's foot. Then you leave it on a shelf and it falls onto someone's head when they least expect it. Then it turns out the vase is a part of a set, and you end up with a party afraid of pottery. <laughs> and now that's why uh, Link destroys all the pots he ever sees. It's a little thing from the trinket list in the player's handbook, which is a tiny little mechanical crab that moves around when not observed. The party is obsessed with what it could mean or be, but truth is, is that it's just a little mechanical crab that doesn't like to be observed. Bagpipes of Invisibility You're invisible as long as you're playing the bagpipes. The Flaming Sword a sentient sword that insults its wielder after every missed attack. It survived three sessions before they tried to sell it. Wouldn't say uh, hmm, completely useless, but there is an item that just makes me laugh called the Belt of Pants, which is an illusory belt that gives the wearer the illusion of themselves wearing pants. I put a replica of Bilbo's Sting in my campaign, a plus one short sword that glows a cold blue when orcs are nearby. The only player character in the party who had use for a magic short sword was the ranger who himself was a half orc. Following the events of the campaign, it made its way home with the player's orc tribe who venerated it as a holy artifact. The sword that always glows. Well, you never need a nightlight with that one. Ring of Attunement. This ring grants you an additional attunement slot. Requires attunement. <laughs> Cape of Billowing from Xanathar's Guide. There are a bunch of great common permanent magic items in that book. Orb of Slope Detection. Oh, God. <laughs> it is perfectly round and rolls when on a slope. I once gave my party a spoon of unbending. Just normal sized spoon that can't be bent. Now a noob might think it's useless, but <laughs> any veteran knows an indestructible spoon is uh, priceless. A coin that always lands on the opposite face of the last time it was tossed. I thought this was a list of useless items. I could find a million uses for that. A million gold uses. <laughs> the breeding hat. If left alone with another hat, it produces a third hat which is a cross between the two parent hats. All hats thus produced are also breeding hats, but have no additional enchantments. Original idea by Procopets on Tumblr, if I recall correctly, and if I pronounce that correctly, also that is not useless because you could be your very own hat salesman. The Pipe of Smoking. It is a magical pipe that has a gem embedded in the bowl that glows a dull orange when puffed on and produces a small stream of smoke. It's literally a tobacco pipe, but you can't put anything to smoke in it. The Magnifying Glass of Ants Speak. This item is only usable in broad daylight. Oh my god. And you must look through the glass at the ant you wish to speak with, until they become a charred corpse, in which case you must eat the ant because it is a delicacy in many countries. <laughs> My DM is really fond of the Shield of Expressions. It's literally just a shield with a face on it that you can change the expression of. We basically just used it as an excuse to post a bunch of memes at random times, saying that was the Shield's current expression. 
a magical ring which will locate the nearest magic item. It always locates itself. Vampire robes. <laughs> the robe doesn't appear when the character looks in a mirror. Amulet of Auto ESP. Allows the wearer to read his or her own mind, but no one else's. Waffle boots. Turns any kind of food into waffles, but you must tread on it. A shiny penny. A standard copper piece that is always shiny. No other magical properties. Ring of Gustatory Sagacity. This allows the wearer to determine one food that a given target either loves or hates. It will not specify which. Clammy gloves. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, that makes me want to just blow up right there. Always feel slightly damp when worn. No mechanical effects aside from causing whoever's wearing it to want to vomit and die. Glamour weave. <laughs> My PC in another campaign has a strip of glamour weave around the band of his hat. So sometimes he'll have it say something like, Go team! And rotate around the hat like a jumbotron. Thimble of Thumble. When you wear this thimble on your thumb, your fingers on that hand become thumbs. Thumbs up. I once gave my party a pig whistle, which remains infamous to this day. Once a day, the whistle would summon a pig to appear from somewhere nearby, behind a thin tree, or from under a pile of leaves, out of their pack, etc. This pig was friendly to whoever held the whistle, as well as anyone they were friendly with. The pig would hang out and do pig things for 10 minutes, and then it would wander out of sight and vanish in the same way it had appeared. That sounds like trouble in the making, and if you guys ever tried to make bacon with it, I would not be surprised. It's not technically a magical item, but my character is convinced that it has some sort of magical properties, an elven dictionary filled with terms used in the presence of royalty. He's a goblin and can't read or understand elvish in the slightest. Wand of Mimic Detection. It's just a stick you poke objects with to see if they react. <laughs> the Goblin's Skeleton Key. It locks any keyhole you stick it in. I quite enjoyed my flute of summoning ducks. I read that totally wrong when I first saw that. When played, shortly after, a duck would waddle up to the player and act as an animal companion. The player got it and used it most in the desert. Always fun to see a duck inexplicably waddle out from behind a sand dune. That sounds really cute, and just like the pig whistle, except, uh, uh I guess it's when it, the duck will stay forever? I don't know. We need expansions on this project. Come on now. Stone of Detect Tension. A small stone with a humanoid face and a vaguely embarrassed expression on one side. When within 30 feet of a socially awkward moment, the stone coughs loudly. <laughs> Used Bag of Holding. A normal bag of holding, except everything that comes out of it is covered in glitter. Oh, you bastard. A cursed pirate's hat that has the player talking in pirate slang. Yar. The Rock of Healing. As a bonus action, you may strike someone with the rock, dealing 1d4 damage. They then receive 1d4 healing. Timora's Deck. Just a little something I created. All attempts to identify it makes it appear as the deck of many things. Oh, don't touch it. Until you draw a card, of course, any card, then all that happens is you hear a woman laughing. Then all attempts to identify it reveal it as Timora's deck. I'm kind of proud of it. The Senseless Axe of Beauty. The axe looks sharp and shiny, but when you try to hit someone with it, it increases their charisma by one until the end of the combat. Hey everyone, Brian Von Vigay here, back at it again checking after the vid. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notified when we post, or in the rare case we go live. 
Also, leave a comment down below the story of your choosing that you'd like to tell one of us, and we will read it here, possibly. Or you can do so on our subreddit, r slash Mr. Ripper. To come say hi to me, just head on over to my actual website, brianvonva.com, links are in the description below, and you can find all my socials. I primarily stream on Twitch, but I'll be getting back into YouTube eventually. That being said, I try to end things on a positive or at least a happy note, and today, I really like this set of stories because honestly, if you if you really get creative, most things that you hear in this kind of story is not going to be that useless. Like a cursed pirate's hat that talks in uh, pirate slang and all that. You know, a rock of healing. If the rock of healing, you do somehow magically get 1D uh, or 1D4 and you always land on a 1, you're doing 1 damage. But if you heal for 4, you at least got 3 points of healing, even though, you know, you got to pelt somebody with rocks every so often. So, I mean, it's kind of funny. But none of these are all terribly useless. All ideas, all items have some small point to them, be it comical effect or not. So the next time you sit there and think, oh man, I just came up with a useless item, think of it like Krillin. Krillin from Dragon Ball Z got the hottest girl ever and everyone said he was a useless dumbass. Look at that, children. Now you have a Krillin in your party. Congratulations. Obviously, it's not the same thing because, uh, your little item won't have a really hot blonde woman chasing after you with uh, extreme superpowers, but you never know, it might happen. All the love, please be safe and enjoy the comedic effects of me as I try to make everyone smile. Because <laughs> the world kind of sucks, but hey, if we can smile one more day, that's all we can do. All love, be safe, be happy. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.